Dr. Piet van Sel, the South African Racing Pigeon Magazine. And I'd like to say something about worms in pigeons today. All pigeon lots will be infected by worms at one stage or another. And if you've got a hundred birds, a few of them will be clean, a few will be heavily infected and the, the rest will be somewhere in the middle. So I've changed my idea on coping with worms in pigeons from testing it, because usually we test four birds out of a hundred birds and then we say no, there's no worms here. But of course we miss a lot of the infected birds if you don't test all the birds. And worms are infective to birds and it's detrimental to their health. We uh, classify worms in pigeons in two groups mainly. It's your tapeworms, that's infective to all birds. And it's the roundworms. And roundworms you get two types. The bigger Ascaris type worms that's more or less like the chicken worms and they are detrimental, they can get into gall, uh, they can get into the livers and uh, so it's, it's important to keep your home loft worm free. We do not like treating single birds for worms now and then. Uh, I like to do a blanket treatment against all worms for the home loft, breeding stock and your racing birds or young birds at one time. So why do I, don't I like treating one loft at a time or one bird at a time? Because there will always be cross infection from infected birds. And like everybody knows, salmonella and uh, worms, especially the round worms, are interconnected. If you've got a worm infection, your gut inside will be damaged and you will get uh, salmonella infection uh, in your birds. A lot of the worm remedies that's used in pigeons is actually toxic because they were never intended to be used in birds and we get away with it sometimes because the birds usually don't die, they just uh, get sick. To test four pigeons out of a hundred does not mean the whole loft is free of worms. In livestock, we recommend you treat the whole flock. Because a few of the birds will be in good health, a few of them will be heavily infected, and a few will be clean. So to test four out of 100 birds and say there's no problem in the loft, is just not the way I, I like to treat animals. We don't distinguish in treatment and treat at one time for tapeworms and another time for the larger roundworms and another time for the smaller roundworms. We, we like to treat them all at one. Use a product, and it is available the product, that can treat all worms in one treatment, and a one day treatment. And there are safe medicines available these days for birds that won't damage the feathers and it won't damage the livers of the birds. And in a specific group of active ingredients, there are safer ones and less safer ones and we like to use the most effective, safest products in a combination product. In my opinion, you'll have to use a tapeworm product that contains praziquantel and you will have to use a moxidectin for the roundworms. And then you can also add some natural products to make them more effective. We know that the uh, curcumin in cinnamon is a tremendously effective roundworm treatment and you can add that to the product to make it better and less toxic. Therefore, I 
do not like to see these photos where people are more or less showing how many birth, uh, worms came out of their birds after treatment. Why would you let a bird get infected that every before you treat it? We recommend you treat once in two months or once in every three months. Treat the whole, all the birds and keep them free from worms because they won't pick them up in baskets and in the uh, stray birds that come back or bring them back to the loft. We've got a product that's also a combination product and it contains, in my opinion, the two or three best active ingredients in a combination with an essential oil again to soothe the gut health uh, when you treat it. It's a once-off treatment, you don't have to give it for days and it does not make the pigeons vomit or it does not make them sick. Some of the older medicines kill the worms just before it kills the birds and we don't like to use products like this. The same if you do use a product that's registered for livestock make absolutely sure you know what the dosage should be in birds. I've seen many intoxications, I've seen many birds health destroyed by overdosage of toxic substances because the people did not calculate the dosage correctly. So it's one of the things, get decent advice if you want to use livestock products in your birds. Thank you.